And so before I clamp it, again, I want to make sure I've got at least two of these wire goodies pooched in there far enough. I got to remember to keep this bracket tight up against here. I don't want it out too far because I could miss this collar, okay? And you see how the dryer right here has this little angle here? That's the only place it's got that right there. And that might be how I want to position this clamp so I can get my screwdriver in there. You know, it's going to be a little bit easier right in there. If I have a long handle, I think I have a little bit longer handle screwdriver I can put in there so that I can tighten that clamp up. Because that, you see how that's that would be easy for the clamp to come off of there. Now see for that clamp, my screwdriver's hitting right there, so I had a longer one. And see, I can get in there way easier, so I know I can get this clamp up there pretty tight, right? Yeah, I think that's gonna work out just fine. Because I have the dryer out here and I've got plenty of room to work and this is gonna be the hardest connection, I'm just gonna do it out here. I'm gonna hook it right on up. Okay, so now I pulled this out. See how it was all bunched up together like that. Just pull it out a little bit and I can got the clamp screwed out far enough so I can slip that over the, the end. I want to get it out back far enough. Now I can you see each wire it just zipsy doodles all the way around and I can push that together so I've got at least let's say two at least two, maybe even three. Uh, I think I'll go at least two. Okay, you do too many and it might kind of get bunched up on the inside. We'll see. Kind of push that aluminum stuff down. Ah, I might have to do one at a time. I think I might have to do one at a time to get it to get it over that. It's not wanting to not wanting to go right there. Just play with it a little bit. You'll get it. There it goes. I got one wire on there. Now I want to get another wire on there. Okay, just be gentle with it. <laughs> okay, I got two. I'm even gonna go, uh, I guess two is gonna be good enough. Okay, I got at least two on there. Now I can slide this back up there. Okay, I can hold that, I can hold it tight, or I can pull it back just a little bit. Okay, tighten that sucker down. That's why I got to keep this clamp tight or maybe no more than an eighth of an inch away from there. it's snug do it a little bit more and make sure okay I got that on there now I'm pretty sure that's not gonna fall off now okay you still want to be careful with things as you're scooting it around and everything you know but that is snug as a bug in a rug I'm getting ready to move that dryer back into position. I gotta have enough room here to scoot through here 
and hook this up because I don't want to get this out too far. I got to refinagle things. So I'm going to be doing some work on this washing machine a little bit later. I'm just going to kind of slightly move it over just so I got a little bit of extra room. You know, it's got to be it's got to be slid over anyways. And the reason why I've got to work on this later is because it's not level and it keeps bouncing out of place and it's way out here and I've got an idea on how to fix that. You want to just keep watching my channel and I'll be working on that, uploading that later on. Now is there any part of that that you couldn't do yourself so far? I'm sure you can do it. Okay, that's all I'm going to do for right now. Now I'm going to slide that back into place and get ready to hook this other end up. Just going to keep it over this way as far as I can. Well, I got plenty of room to work back in here. All right. But you know what? Before I do that, you see how this dryer, it's not level. It's not sitting tight. I'm gonna, I wanna see what's going on. I'm sure glad I caught that because I'm gonna try to adjust this, you know, so it doesn't move around like that. I always like to give a little bit extra. Try it. Getting ready to hook this up and I'm just going to leave it's it's all eight foot long I'm just going to leave it because it can it can push up together like that okay okay so I got my clamp I make sure I unscrew the clamp out as far as I can without it coming apart okay and because I'm over here I'm going to have the clamp facing this direction obviously instead of that direction instead of over here I got plenty. Okay. I'm going to put that over that. And I found if you pull the end out and do one piece at a time, okay, push all the, the other piping on the inside a little bit and get it nice, smooth area. Okay. Now you can get it in there. See how easy that goes on? You got to be careful because this this flex could rip a little bit. Okay, well I'm going to get enough on there. I can pull it back, like I said, on itself, and I want to get enough in here for. I'm going to go at least three. Okay. Now I can kind of pull that back a little bit so I have the clamp over maybe more than one of those wires I right. okay this piece sticks out plenty far slide this up there and I don't have to hold it all the way tight here I can hold it back a little bit and tighten her up that's all there is to this. They're going to be styling. Just get it tight. You'll know when it's tight, okay? And like I say, just kind of be careful with that. Okay? I'm going to look at this, kind of mimic like when I'm pushing the dryer in, I may have to reach back in here and refinagle this a little bit. It's kind of going to be like an S. And I want to make sure I don't push the dryer back too far against the wall and kink this or something. Now see this pipe can angle if I need it to one way or another. That's just how it is. Most, most dryer pipes that come into the wall, they're going to be stationary. So you're going to have to kind of look at this and see 
Now see, if you had the aluminum, the straight aluminum pieces without the flexi, you're not going to be able to do as tight of turns as this. You know what I mean? That's why I got this flexible one. It's more flexible than the other because it can, it can do all kinds of tight things. All right. Okay. Now I can push this dryer back into position. Oh yeah. Now see, I ultimately moved the dryer over to the left because I had enough room and I hooked it up there so you could see it on camera. It was easier for me to do that, but you can slide it to the far right and do it that way. Whichever way you can fit in there and squeeze in between the dryer and the washing machine. Now before you get all gung-ho, I'm pushing this all the way back up. Make sure you plug the dryer back in before you push it back up into the actual position. Now before I get it back into the exact position I want, make sure that your washing machine is all set up in its proper location because if that one sticks out further, I might want to pull the dryer out so that it's flush. I might want to slide the dryer over to the left, the right, out further, in further, whatever. Okay? There you go. Now see, when you get all done, I want you to poke your head back in here and see how your dryer tubing is working. And if you have to, you can reposition that. See how it all accordions up? See right there? That's how you can do it. That's an eight foot piece. And I've got it s and zigzagged around there to do its thing. All right, good job. And they said it couldn't be done. I knew you could do it. Well, that's all I got for this time. But I'll be back with more videos.